keeping it real today in my kitchen, I'm going to put together a crock pot beef stew. Um, it's been a recipe that I've wanted to try for quite some time. And um, today's the day. We're going to play book tonight. My brother and sister-in-law are coming over. And this will be great to have um, for a big group. Okay, I have a beef ribeye. I thought I had some stewed beef, stewed meat in the freezer, but when I looked, I didn't. So I have a beef ribeye that I'm going to cut up and cube it best I can. And then we're going to toss it in some flour. And then we're going to brown the meat and then put all of it together in the crock pot. That's the plan. Okay. So let's cut this up. Beef stew is one of those hearty meals that, that pleases a lot of people. Comfort food kind of meal. That's about the size I want. About half of that. And I'm gonna leave the fat in it because I want it to have that flavor. We enjoy getting together with family and friends and playing Rook and we take turns of who's gonna cook or are we gonna order out or whatever. And so when I saw this recipe online, I thought I'm gonna try that. And it's one of those that I wanted to do while when I had somebody over. And you can use whatever beef you have. That's what I'm doing. Like I said, I thought I had some in the freezer that was meat for stewing. And I guess I must have used it all. You know, when you watch old movies, women were constantly cooking on a wood stove and they always had some kind of stew to serve. I guess they just used whatever they had, whatever was coming in out of their garden and put it in a stew. Like Little House on the Prairie seems like they were always eating stew of some sort. a nice Saturday night entree and I'll just fix some garlic butter I mean garlic bread with it and my sister-in-law's gonna bring dessert and we'll call that a meal You could also use deer meat for this if you have it. It'd be good. Good way to fix it.
go. Now, what I'm going to do with this, let me set this aside. I am going to, let me set my potatoes out too. I'm going to put, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> let me wash my hands real quick. do is take about two tablespoons of flour and sprinkle that into the meat and give it a toss. And I have about two tablespoons of olive oil heating up in my skillet and I'm just going to brown this meat just ever so slightly. That flour will also help thicken the stew. At the end of the cooking process, if the stew needs thickening, I'll add some potato flakes to it. All right. that spread out in the skillet. Okay. And then what we're going to do in the pot, I failed to get an onion at the grocery store, so I'm going to use onion powder and some other seasonings to season this with. I'm going to pour um, four cups of beef broth into my crock pot and turn it on low. This is a two cup measurement. There's two. that I'm going to I'm going to add my seasonings here. I'm going to add some garlic powder, about a tablespoon. I'm eyeballing mine. About a tablespoon of um, onion powder. Mine's like clotted up and kind of have to mess with it every time. But you can use whatever seasonings your family likes. Okay. I'm also going to add a couple bay leaves to this. Say three. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. Now I'm just using great value Italian seasoning. Probably about a tablespoon of that. Okay. Now, I'm going to add a bag of baby carrots. I'm going to give this meat a stir. potatoes, the little ones, and I'm going to put my meat in here when it gets brown, and I'm going to cook this low and slow for eight hours. And I'm going to slice these potatoes so they're bite size. I'll wash them. Thank you. 
And like I said, when this is done, if it's not thick enough, then I'll use some potato flakes to add to it to thicken it. And there we go. Okay. Let me check the meat again. Looking good and smelling good. that meat, pour that into the crock pot, give this a stir, and then I'm going to cover this and cook it low and slow for eight hours. Okay, that is going to be my rendition of beef stew. I'll post a picture at the beginning of the video. Thanks for watching Cooking Cutting Up, keeping it real. Like, share, and comment, and we'll have we, we'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye now. Hey y'all, I forgot one ingredient that I had laid out to put in this beef stew, and it's one can, six ounces of tomato paste. We're gonna put that in as well. I almost forgot it. Okay, now we're going to cover it and cook it low and slow for eight hours. Beef stew, y'all. Give it a try.